Assalamu alaikum everyone. In the first part of this video, I already discussed how many research programs are there in OIS and what are the associated research units to that particular program. So if you didn't see the first part of this video, please check out that one first so that you can easily uh, see what is going on in this second part of the video. So today I'm going to show you how you can find the professor and the available position in that particular unit as a research intern. So let's go with me. Open the Google and wrote unit availability research internship Oist. So just enter. So just click on the first link and I will attach this link in a description as well so you can easily find the link there. So here the window open like this and you can see a lot of information on this page. So the first information you uh, you got from here is life at OIS and then research, PhD program, research internship, student testimonial events and contact. But we we are only concerned with this information, availability of faculty and project for hosting research internship program. Okay, so scroll down the window like this. Here you can see the information. The first is professor. The second one is a unit name. The third option is starting between October 23, 2023 to March 2024. And then the fourth option is, so as I already discussed in my previous videos that OIS open an application for two times in a year. So this one is is uh, is for the spring intake and the deadline for application is 15th of October. So for uh, this time, the running of application, you just need to focus on this line and you have to forget this line. And you also need to uh, look at this information, faculty research, interest and project information. So um, in the first part of this video, as I already discussed about the unit, how many units are associated with one particular field. For example, if someone have a degree or previous knowledge in the field of physics, then he can easily find, uh, just draw down the physics first and then find a related unit. So if you already select the unit of your interest, then you should come to this page and uh, you can find this information as well. So for example, uh, this unit Ugar Abdullah is, uh, is from the mathematic or physical background. So if you are interested in applying this unit, so just see this information, which is starting between October to March, that there are the two positions available. So there are high chances that you can be selected here. Uh, also, you you need to you need to look at this information so just reading the paragraph and these kind of information help you uh, to select your uh, interested unit in which you are going to apply as a research intern and not only this information is helpful for applying but also you can also seek the help from these kind of information for writing your statement of purpose and um, I will make a separate video on how you can make or write your statement of purpose according to one particular unit. So uh, today I'm going to show you like for example, if someone uh, academic background is from the biology like I am talking about myself. So like for example, this is Kenji Doya. Uh, this is a neural uh, computational unit. And the position that I need to see is in the third lane and this is a project. So if you want to apply in this unit and you want to see what kind of projects are running and what kind of experiment they are doing in their lab, just click on this link. For example, if I want to open the link, then right click and open this. It may take two or three seconds okay now you can open okay so here you can see 
a unit and i just show you as an example you can uh, you can use this this information uh, to one uh, if you want to apply to any other unit as well the process is simple and the process is same as well so here you can see the full unit description on the uh, left side of this page you can see news people kenji doya which is the name of professor uh, his research the courses that are, that are available for the student the publication data software annual report oes web article so if you scroll down this information you can see this unit is neural computational unit and here is a kind of the information that you may get what kind of thing are running and what kind of projects they are assigning to their student so they are like for example they also listed that they are work on three major subjects for example uh, they are working on development of neural computational network for identification of biological networks and then neurobiological experiment to study and all the stuff and then you can see research position like this so if you uh, like they also send a applicant should send a cv research statement and their name and email address of three reference to uh, 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 nutritional composition system at os jp with the header research position at so this unit so i will make a separate video on this as well how many ways you can come here uh, as a student so uh, you can uh, apply directly to graduate school and this professor is also saying that if you want to join his unit you can directly email to him at this email address so if you are really interested in joining the oist you need to search each and every unit and see the uh, the number of position available in their unit and the kind of working they are doing um, uh, for the research project or other stuff so uh, i will show you some other details as well so for example if you want to know about the professor you just click on this so here you can see the professor information so he ha he has done his phd from university of tokyo and then uh, uh, oist listed his accomplishment as a uh, his research career a war social services so if you if you if you are for example if some student is from the biology background and after seeing my video he is or she is really interested in applying to this unit so um, he or she can open the publication to get uh, to get more information about the kind of project they are doing because basically in oist the professor are really focus focusing on doing the research instead of publishing the review paper that are very common in in, in in most of the Asian countries. So you can see toward the evolutionary and development intelligence. So you can get an idea by seeing their publication, our kind of experiment or research they are doing. So uh, I will show you another example of the professor like this. Okay, so here you can see no availability, no availability. Be careful while you are applying to particular unit. For example, if your interests are snugly match with one of particular unit and then you after seeing my video you you see that uh, there is no any position which is available for the research intern so be aware of applying to these kind of unit okay so uh, uh, try your possible to apply to those unit that have the maximum position like for example uh, they have the two position and uh, uh, this unit has one position and there is no availability you can also like see other unit as well you can make a list of uh, uh, the research unit you are interested because for example if your um, uh, academic background is chemistry you can narrow down four or five units and then see the kind of project they are running and then these things help you to write your statement of purpose and all the stuff like for example um, Philip Husnick is the name of professor and he is also has a one maximum position for research intern so you can also click on this unit uh, and see all the kind of information that they are listed here. So like, like for example, this is a KK Kono unit. 
uh, I already discussed in my previous video about he uh, she is a professor and she works majorly on uh, the mammals animal models to conducting the research regarding the membranes and on the cancer cell as well but she is not recruiting any research in turn so be careful by applying to any research unit because um, for phd it is difficult it is difficult to get a position rather than a research intern so if you are lucky enough to be selected here as a research intern then there are a high chance that while staying here as a research intern you can apply for phd and like here this is my unit akira kusami and uh, uh, he also has a one position maximum and one but he is not recruiting any phd student right now so you have to be careful about the kind of position how many positions are available in that particular unit or whether or not they are recruiting student so these kind of information you can get on the website like i am i am opening this page in front of you people so you can also get information that for example nicolas lescambe so uh, uh, he offered the two position for each round for fall intake and for the spring intake and also you can scroll down like here um franz meitinger cell proliferation genetic unit uh, he also have one position for spring and one for fall intake and like this there is no availability you can see here if you have any question regarding how i find uh, the position and how i can find the unit you may just write in a comment so that i can i can read your comment and uh, uh, and and i will try to make video according to that if you really like my video please like it share it and subscribe it as well so this is all about thank you so much for your listening hope it might help you and very best of luck for your application as a research intern